reputation has been universally important for all time. Mm -hmm. They've just only now made it a word that we talk about more frequently. So when you think about reputation, think about a magnet. Things that attract and things that detract, that repulse. Huh? And reputation has always mattered to senators, to congressmen, to politicians, and to you and me. We care what people think about us. Why? Because it affects how they behave. It affects whether they will buy our products if we are companies. It affects the people who want to like us and do things for us. So that's why reputation is important. And of course, for companies, it's more important now because there is more attention being paid to where resources are flowing. And as a result of a good reputation, you can get more resources. Banks want to lend to you. Investors want to invest inside of your company. Employees want to work for you if you're well regarded. Think about the reverse, a bad reputation. Company that doesn't have a good name, nobody wants to go. Nobody wants to buy its products, nobody wants to go near it. And that's why it matters. It matters because it's about money. You measure, well, you can measure it in a simple way if you're a public company. That simple way is the difference between the assets you own, the physical assets, and the value that the market places on you. The market value of all companies is between 50 and 80 percent consists of intangible numbers. You can't count them. You can't go and say, here's my factories, here's my chairs, here's my, my, uh, my office equipment, my computers. It's all based on here is my intangible value. So what you're looking at when you're looking at reputation is that difference between market value and book value. It's all the intangible. And you can measure it financially. Now you need to also look at it though to see if people see it that way. What is affecting it? Perceptions drive that value. So because it's perceptions, we at Reputation Institute measure perceptions. We go out and say, what do people think? How do people feel? Is there a bond between me and this company that makes me want to buy its products, that makes me want to work there, that makes me want to invest in it? Social media influences perceptions to a certain degree. Sometimes it influences it a lot. But what we don't know is when. Because there are many times where we have conversations in social media that don't go anywhere. So companies are wondering and evaluating to how to deal with social media. So some of it is powerful and can lead to what we call bandwagon processes. One person starts a conversation that gets picked up by many others and turns into an escalating process. Others get concerned because it starts a negative spiral that destroys value. So potentially it happens that way, potentially it dies. We are not sure when it happens. It's interesting. I think we, we call it disintermediation. So there's less and less universal effect of large-scale media. Uh, audiences are fragmented. So people are not paying attention to everything. They're selectively focusing. So even for purposes of, of, uh, of influencing your own reputation, companies have to identify better strategies than the mass media strategies they used before. So I think part of the, the, the utility of having a reputation point of view is understanding that each group that you're working with has a different orientation, a different set of preferences, a different set of expectations about what it is they want from you as a company. And learning to create and craft messages and initiatives that engage you with those specific stakeholder groups is what's going to make it more attractive. Uh, that's a very interesting question because in part there are, uh, a, the market research industry has been struggling with trying to understand how to use social media to give information back to companies. Uh, so we've been designing uh, measures that track what gets said on social media and how it's said, what are they talking about, and how much it can be used to create an early warning or an early signal that companies can pay attention to. So that's a big part of coding, uh, coding the trends in, in, uh, in media. But even in the old media, we had these problems of, if you remember, media would be compiling, you know, stacks of clippings mm -hmm. every day that would hit the desk of managers and say, here's where we were in the press. So these large companies got all their press clippings and then, they'd, now what do we do with it? 
<laughs> we like. So one person would pick out the, the article they liked and say, oh, look, this is what they said about us. Or then they tried to code it into positive and negative. You know, but then how much day to day does that matter? We didn't know, and we still don't know how much things matter. So there have to be better ways to trace the effects of coverage and of conversations in, the, in the, both the traditional media and in the social media to get at, uh, at understanding what drives our reputation. Well, uh, social responsibility, in other words, doing good, uh, has a place. It has a place because it, it does influence some stakeholders to think more favorably of a company. The question is, will it drive the behaviors you want from those people? In other words, will they now buy your products because they see you being socially responsible? Will they invest more in your company? Will that encourage others to do so? So the question that you're faced with is understanding what drives the support the supportive behaviors you want, buying behavior, investor behavior, uh, work behavior, uh, intensity of involvement. Uh, and in part, we're not sure that it's always the case that social responsibility or just doing good turns into uh, a positive support. Uh, in part because it works in many different ways. Uh, sometimes it's just a philosophy issue. It gives you more trust and more trustworthiness, but it may not affect the buying behavior of certain, com uh, certain types of clients who are going to look for the best price no matter what. So it's always been a question whether, uh, for instance, in an oil company, you might tell you, why do we invest money in social, uh, social projects? Because in fact, people are just going to go to the closest gas station with, or the one with the cheapest gas. They're not going to care whether we did a social program. So it happens in many sectors that that's questioned. Uh, and the answer is not obvious. But you have to understand that reputation is built in part from social responsibility, but also because it's built in part from performance. The financial performance of the company, doing things that are doing well, and also doing the right things. That is, being well governed, uh, be having good leadership, uh, and being run as an effective business. Well, I describe the Reputation Journey, and Reputation Institute works with a lot of companies on this, uh, as a process that all companies go through. And it's a process of discovery, first of all. Initially, you don't know anything about it, so you're asking yourself, what is reputation? Does it make a difference to me? How does it make a difference in our business? Eh? That's the early stage. When you get more serious about it, it starts to go towards measurement, then it goes towards uh, managing it more systematically, especially in big companies where the problem of working across divisions, across countries, across brands uh, exists. Ultimately, it's about in, in, infiltrating the company in such a way that every decision you make has reputation thinking behind it. You don't choose to merge with the company because of the financials or, or the profile of the business. You worry about whether or not the merger will be seen by all the stakeholders as a positive or a negative. That's a reputation thinking. Can you leverage that now to make more money? Potentially, if you're strategic about it. Can you leverage reputation to do other kinds of business decisions? Yes. And that's when you are a, an advanced on the journey uh, uh, as, as we describe it.